This presentation is just a quick review of writing equations in different forms. So the forms of linear equations that we know so far are slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m and b will be numbers, x and y stay x and y, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. We also know vertical lines and horizontal lines. Vertical line is always going to be an x equals, and it goes through the number on the x-axis. y equals is a horizontal line. It goes through the number on the y-axis. And x equals any number has an undefined slope, where a y equals or a horizontal line has a zero slope. We also have practiced point-slope form, where y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where x sub 1 and y sub 1 is a point on the line m is the slope, so these three will have numbers, x and y stays the same. Standard form we have talked about somewhat, um, but we have not done anything with this yet. So the very easiest type of equation is when you are given the slope and the y-intercept, we can just slam them into the slope-intercept form. So y equals one-half x, this is the y-intercept, so minus 4. So y equals mx plus b, where this is your slope, and this is the y-intercept. There's a little bit more work if you're given two points, though. You have to first find the slope. So you're going to take your x and y and find the rise over the 1, run or the y change over the x change. So 7 minus 3 over 6 nice. minus a negative 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. 6 minus a negative 2 is 6 plus 2, which is 8, and that can be reduced to 1 half. If it does not say what type of equation to write, you are more than welcome to use point-slope form in this case, because that's the easiest. I'm going to do y minus my y, which is 7, equals the slope, 1 half, times x minus my x, which is 6. However, most of the time, it is required to put it in slope-intercept form. So you're going to take this and you're just going to simplify. So using the distributive property, y minus 7 equals 1 half x minus 3. And you're going to bring the minus 7 over by adding 7. So y equals 1 half x plus 4. This is the preferred way because now we can see that it starts on the y-axis at 4 and it goes up 1 half for every x.